Hey guys, so welcome to Fiora the Tank Girl. Um, already in progress. Um, this is my last actual live recording. I have managed to get the replays in World of Warships to work. So from now on, we're not going to have a live recording. We're actually going to be seeing a replay. Now I'm explaining to these guys that also, we will note this is also going to be the last cooperative battle. From now on, it's going to be PvP because I've been doing PvP and have officially completely weaned myself off the cooperative mode. In the meantime, as it is called, we have two cruisers today. The Chikuma, and later I will be showing another cruiser. You can probably guess it's going to be the Chester. Oof. Those are some nice armor piercing hits on that uh Oh god, that's a big cruiser. That's a big American cruiser. Let's keep letting them have it. Tap tap tap. Just tapping away. Apparently I sound hot to some people and other people say that my voice sounds like it. Guys, I'm not entirely sure how to react to that one. But in the meantime, I'm going to cruise right up here in this cap circle, and I'm going to just let this... Oh, that's an Eerie. Oh, that's a that's a tier 1. Poor Eerie. Oh, God! That just looks, that just looks painful. Thank you. Ooh, Citadel Pen. For uh, not particularly watching where you're going. And I can say it's his fault, because he's the one who cut across my bow, since he's the faster ship. Oof. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn. I'm gonna have to turn to avoid this island. Am I gonna get the kill shot? Am I gonna get the kill shot? He's on fire. Nope, not the kill. So close, yet so far away. Uh, I've successfully navigated myself into the narrows. I'm lining up a shot on this cruiser, and I let him have it. <laughs> oh, I wish my battleship was that accurate. Uh, I do have some good battleship replays for next week. Um, I figured I did the war spite. I may as well do some cruisers. I'm not very good with destroyers, primarily because I kind of suck with torpedoes. I, I I gotta admit, I'm really bad at aiming torpedoes, and that cruiser just ate some torps, and here goes my volley. I only got one hit, uh, but he died to fire. He burned in a fire. I don't know how to react to that. Did he really? He he just died in a fire. Wow, that's just a mean thing to say to people. Hello, destroyer. Oh, I got a I got a glancing hit with some high explosive. Okay, well, let's try again. I'm firing high explosive at the destroyer because he doesn't have any armor. There's a bunch of hits. His steering's knocked out. His engine's knocked out. I knocked out one of his torpedo tubes. Oof, that's just mean. Here comes some more. Oh. Oh, you poor guy. And you launched your torpedoes in the opposite direction. I'm not quite sure what you're launch. Oh, you're tr I don't know I don't know if you're launching them at friends or what, but doesn't matter now. I start I start bringing the ship to a halt. I set him on fire just as he uses his repairs. Oh, nope, he used them to actually get the fire out too. Nice job. <laughs> I knocked out his engines again and set him right back on fire. <gasps> God, why don't you die in a fire there, little destroyer? Because I'm just going to be that mean to you. Oh! Uh, oh, I knocked out... That's both his torpedo tubes now knocked out, in addition to a main battery gun. His damage output is next to nothing. He's on fire, and his engines are gone. He manages to sink that other cruiser. I'm thinking that he, he had an extra torpedo tube there. And now I've got to maneuver to avoid running aground. But while I'm doing that, I am perfectly capable of continuing to return fire, uh, assuming I can hit the broadside of a barn. We're going to set it all quarter ahead while I get the rudder turned, and then we're going to slam it hard once I actually get started moving forward. And I just knocked out his steering. Oh. Oh, I'm just getting so much critical with these HE shells. Then again, these are lightly armored targets, so may as well just hurl the HE rounds at them. I mean, I get as much damage as the armor-piercing shells could get, but it's still, it's, 
doing enough, and it's setting them on fire and definitely knocking out some of their systems, which prevents them from really being able to hurt me back. Ooh, there's a ranging shot. Ranging shot is on. All right, so as my guns get lined up, just continue to unleash fire. There's two hits in a row. Up, oh, there's not three. Ah, those look on. There we go. And just keep... Oh, I see him fire torpedoes, so I know he's fired torpedoes, and he hasn't fired them at me. So that means I am good to let my turrets just line up and continue to bombard this Japanese cruiser, who's a tier higher than me, by the way. And I'm just going to shell him for all he's worth. There's a citadel penetration with a high explosive. Oh, he's not happy. And there's some more hits. My secondary batteries are in range. Ah, there we go. Just keep lighting him up. I know he's going to have those torpedoes reloaded very soon. So I need to... St I've already started turning the rudder. So that I can turn into him and therefore minimize his chance of actually hitting me with the torpedoes. I'm waiting for all my guns to load. There they are. And fire. Full volley hit. Knocked out a torpedo tube. Looks like he he's on fire fire oh he's not in a happy place right now keep firing oh clear miss just, just clear miss get those guns loaded I see torpedoes go in the water but I don't actually maneuver to avoid them because he pretty much launched them at the island trying to leave me and there's nothing that he can really do now I realize, oh shit, those are torpedoes. Um, bring the rudder all stop, turn hard into them, and whew, that could have been really bad. And I shout at the, at the other cruiser, torpedoes, to see if he realizes it. I don't know if he does, I don't ever check back to look at him. I just know I'm now pissed off at this cruiser. Another citadel penetration. Oh, RNG, I love you. I love you so much. You make me so happy. Uh, here we go. Ah, oh, all of them just whoop, right into the right there. Does absolutely nothing to him. My secondary guns might get him. Oh, God, I don't have time to dodge or anything. I think this is going to be it. I destroy him, but he takes me with him. Damn. I did not have any room to maneuver or dodge. I, I tried, but it was too late. Um, but the match is over. We've won. As I sink, we win. Go figure. Um, 67 direct hits, multiple citadel penetrations, two enemies destroyed, top XP on the team. Now, I realize this is cooperative battle, but again, this is my last cooperative match. After this, you guys are going to see nothing but PvP. And... Just the sheer amount of damage I managed to do with a tier 2 versus tier 4s. So we're going to move on to the next. So, as I said, that was my last PvE battle. This is a PvP battle against real opponents. I'm in the Chester, the American tier 2 cruiser. And I'm up against Chesters and Eries. So it's it's an even tiered match, same tier, we pretty much, there's no variation here. Well, we have Katoris, they have Eries. What the hell, matchmaker, why didn't you give an even split of Eries and Katoris? Um, Wargaming, you might want to fix that. But in the meantime, because it makes no sense for you to put all the same ship type on one team, um, I am sailing forward, I give my normal advertisement, um... We're up over 570 subscribers, by the way. We're getting very close to 600. We might hit 600 before the end of the weekend. Please do remember my special birthday request. I don't want presents. I don't want any of that. I want. I, I sent out a request. Also, next week you guys will be seeing live stream from today from the EU server with uh, Lord Chipmunk and Gaming Bear, both fellow YouTubers, and we're doing a big cross-promotion thing, and we pretty much agreed that next Thursday we're going to sit down and play with each other. Tomorrow, I will be on World of Warships, i.e. today, when you guys see this video, I will be on World of Warships, live streaming with Claus Kellerman, who's a very funny guy. His voice is, is priceless. Um, but in the meantime, we are sailing forth with the Chester. Does this have the same replay controls? 
Uh, no, it does not have the same replay controls. I don't know if there's actually any replay controls to this. I think we just have to kind of watch. Um, uh, okay, yeah, there's no replay controls yet. Um, so we're just kind of watching for a little bit while I sail forward. Now what I am doing, and I'm going to describe this to you guys, is you notice I'm moving with my fleet. We may all be the same speed, I may not actually be able to catch them, but it's very important that I keep moving with them. Because if if you see an isolated ship, you're done. Because you don't have time to, re, to regroup and renegotiate where you're going to be. Also remember, this is a tier 2 battle. It's perfectly fine to just keep hurling high explosive shells, which I have no issue doing. And those are on if he's in range. No, he's not in range yet. He's in range of some of the forward elements. If you look at the mini-map, he's right at the edge of my range, and his engine just went out. And now he's in range, and I know it. And I'm turning in. I'm going to turn in to him. I'm going to actually maneuver so I go on the left side of these islands. I know that's making me a little vulnerable, but right now my team has not spotted any other ships. And from the look of it, this ship is isolated. He has no support. So I know that I am, should be safe enough to be able to pull this maneuver and... I get a couple shots in. It's not much, but it is a couple shots. Now there's an enemy Chester who's just opened fire on me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn back. Oh, not an Erie. I'm going to turn back and maneuver back towards the island. Um, but this little tier one cruiser is just sailing into a death storm of cruiser fire. I mean, he literally could not have chosen a worse position to sail towards. And these are players. As you guys can see, these are actual players. This is not PvE anymore. I'm on fire. I put the fire out. I'm not even going to let that go. And oh my god, I just took most of his health. And here comes the next volley right at him. Oh, those are on. Oh, Citadel 10 for the kill. And Robes, my division mate, he's also on my league team. Which next week you guys are going to see two new things on my channel. One is going to be a tank academy. Hello person, I'll get back to you momentarily. That's my phone. One is going to be a tank academy, where I'm going to start teaching you guys some basics to playing World of Tanks that also apply to Armored Warfare. We're going to be using a training room, and I'm going to sit down with some guys on Sunday, and we're actually going to go through, or on, at some point next week, we will sit down, I will do a training academy video, and we're going to start with view range mechanics. So I can explain to you guys how view range works and how to manipulate the view range system. And every week you're going to get a tank academy video. The other thing you're going to start seeing is you're going to start seeing league match play. Um, I have enough recordings now that I should be able to give you guys some league match play and then continue to give you guys more league match play as the season starts on June 22nd. In the meantime, back to what we're doing. I am shelling the living crap out of this other Eerie and uh, yeah, he does not look happy. I actually ran into him today um, in, a, in, in my battleship and I think I sank him. But I also see they are capping us. Ooh. So they did send some ships around the other way. And I am just going to do a full 180 and sail back the way I came to prevent this cap. Because as you can see, two enemy ships are now spotted on our cap. Now I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to cut this turn either tight or... or or, uh, or to the outside so that I avoid actually running into him. And I decided to cut it tight. And I'm going to type in chat to warn him not to turn here in a second. I think I remember actually typing in chat, do not turn. Because, yeah, last wave, do not turn. I looked up his name, I typed him, and I said, don't turn your ship. Because if you do, you're going to run headlong into me, and that's just going to be bad. Hope he pays attention. And more worship players actually pay attention to the chat. This Chester has just, however, sailed into a world of hurt. And he's in my hurt locker with another Citadel penetration for the kill. Poor guy. Okay, I aim back here to see if I get any shots on this guy. Because I'm in a cruiser. My turrets turn really quickly. I don't have to worry about, you know, the battleship where it's like, uh, my turrets will be turned on there tomorrow. However, that guy has moved into our cap. And I, I'm arcing this, trying to arc the shells over the island. Which, I think I successfully, yep, there's the reset. Successfully do, which basically inspires him 
to start moving forward, which it turns out his forward is moving into my guns. And now he's just, he's gravy for me just to keep shelling. I'm not quite getting the leading just on yet because he is accelerating and therefore I can't tell just how fast he's moving yet. But I am hitting with a couple shells. Um, and now he's realized the world of pain that he's stepping into is not the world of pain he wants to be in. Ah. Oh. That poor Eerie is just getting wrecked. Oh, am I going to get the kill? No, kill denied. And this battle is basically over. They're down to one ship. Um, the Chester in its own tier is just a, it's a monster with the rate of fire and the sheer amount of damage its high explosive shells can do against other tier 1 and 2 vessels. And even against tier 3 vessels, I mean... Taking this thing up against the Kawachi battleship, I was doing a lot of damage with high explosive shells to that Kawachi battleship. Just a lot. And I've got... Yeah. Fired three shots. I got three criticals and a sit pin. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. <laughs> that poor Chester was just like, eh, eh, boom, no. And I do believe they're going to sink him before the end of this battle. Yeah, I'm not going to get in range. I don't care what I do. Robes and all those other cruisers are just wailing away. Um, and that enemy chest, that enemy Eerie, it's a tier 1 cruiser with a thousand hit points left. He does not stand a chance against all that fire. I'm actually going to zoom in and look and yeah, you guys can see it. Just the shell after shell from four enemy ships. I'm sorry guy, you shouldn't have hidden the back of the map. You're so I guess um, I'm making this little short video at the end of the World of Warships video. Apparently, um, I've tried this a couple times, the World of Warships replay system has a bug in it. <laughs> Where when it goes to display the ship's stats, it could actually just crash. Yeah. Especially if you exited back to port before the stats actually got shown, so um, I'll have to remember that and actually just have to sit around till the end of matches from now on in order to actually record the stats. I apologize for this, um, but this is what I got out of the Chester, and, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you notice, I did get like 30 hits, a couple Citadel penetrations, and, and two kills. I mean, that's that's a pretty good battle for a little Tier 2 cruiser. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, in the meantime, this is Fior the Tank Girl, officially signing out for right now, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please press the like button. If you want to see more, so click on the subscribe icon. I post a video every day for y'all to enjoy. Want to help the channel grow? Take a moment and share this on Facebook or Twitter. Want to support the channel? You can do this in two ways. One, click on an ad in, the vi in this video or other videos you watch by Fiora. There will be one coming up at the end of every video. This is how YouTube pays its creators for the clicks on those ads. The second way is directly through the patronage page. To access this, simply click on the icon of the woman standing outside the IS-4 tank. Here you can donate directly, and remember, I base my contest prizes on patronage, so it is in your power to determine the size and number of the prizes for the contest I run. Speaking of contests, check out the video description to know what contests are currently going on. I hope to see you again on my channel, and leave a comment if you have a suggestion or request for me, Fiora the Tank Girl. Remember, I do fan platoons and live streams on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. In the meantime, this is Fiora the Tank Girl, and I will see you in the next video.